Our next presenter is Amisha Minju, who is a first year grad student in the Department of Human Genetics. And her talk today is entitled, Investigating the Role of a Gene in Cancer Using Base Editing. Let me introduce you to Alyssa, a 13-year-old girl from England. She was diagnosed with an aggressive blood cancer last year. Chemotherapy and a bone marrow transplant could not eliminate it from her body. The only option left would be merely to make Alyssa as comfortable as possible. What happened next would have been unimaginable just a few years ago and has been made possible with incredible advances in genetics. Her doctors used a technology called base editing that was invented just seven years ago to build her a new living drug, making Alyssa the first patient in the world to benefit from this therapy. Eight months later, her cancer is undetectable and she has regained her life that had nearly slipped away from her. So what is this base editing technology? Let's take a closer look. Bases are the language of life. We have four types of bases represented by the letters A, T, G, and C as the building blocks of our DNA. Just like letters in the alphabet spell out words that carry meaning, billions of bases in our DNA spell out the instruction manual for our body. Base editing allows scientists to zoom into precise part of the genetic code and then alter or mutate one base to another. This helps them to study disease-causing genes and even cure the genetic defect. My research involves the use of the same technology in understanding a vital protein called 53BP1. This protein protects cells from the harmful effects of DNA damage. It also interacts with other proteins that shield cells from cancer, but their mechanism of interaction is still unknown. This is because large proteins like 53BP1 cannot be easily studied using traditional approaches. But with base editing, I can overcome this limitation and gain a better understanding of this gene and its functional relevance in cancer. To perform this, I grow cancer cells on a dish and then introduce the base editor that can target, cut and modify precise locations on the 53BP1 gene. Then I observe if my cancer cells are happy with these mutations or not. If they are unhappy and start dying, this means that the mutation I created is important in preventing cancer growth. And with this knowledge, we can develop new therapies that target the particular region being mutated. Thus, base editing gives us the opportunity to revolutionize the way we approach cancer therapy and improve the lives of millions of people. As reflected in this little girl's smile. Thank you. So Amisha's interest in genetic engineering motivated her to pursue her PhD, and she is currently working on genetically modifying genes involved in DNA response pathways to better understand the role of cancer, as we just learned. Uh, coming from a small village in South India, she considers joining a prestigious university like McGill to be a significant achievement. Uh, she is eager to advance the scientific knowledge through her experience here at McGill, and her spare time she enjoys dancing and cooking. You notice how different people have different ways of explaining like the DNA and it's, it's, it's like the, to break it down to either letters or a book like we saw in Eubin's talk. It's just, or a recipe rather. So each person has like a different way of explaining to us like what makes us us, which I find really cool. By the end of today's talk, we'll have learned different analogies for DNA and different analogies for how our bodies are made. And I think yeah, that's really I'll nice. be a better science communicator. Yeah, something. me too. I think we all will be. Okay, 